What's up guys, War here, welcome back to the channel. So today we are gonna be going over the most optimal path through the Altar of Rights in Diablo 3 coming to season 28. So we played, the PTR is going crazy, man. This is gonna be such a fun season. But I'm gonna kind of talk about the most optimal path to kind of go through this and just help just speed through your leveling when season 28 actually starts. Because with all of this, there's so many powers and so many things that are just gonna help you along the way. It's gonna make season leveling and just the overall experience just amazing. So the first thing that we gotta talk about is the uh, the cash that you get from starting, you know, the brand new season, you're always gonna get the, the seasonal cash that you're gonna do, you're gonna go and knock that out. And normally what you would wanna do is you would wanna use that <clears throat> to do all your leveling right like get your level 70 weapon you know get a power etc but instead now what we're going to do is we're going to use that to get some of these nodes okay we're going to use that to get to the nodes and <clears throat> excuse me and if my math is correct you can get just about 12 to 14 nodes um just from the Herodric uh cash like the weekly one that you're going to do so you can get 14 of these nodes. Now you could save it and wait, but I think with all these powers and how strong they actually are, it's just really good to just crack that thing and just use it to get these because a lot of these powers are just so OP. And uh, for example, like our main potion power that we're gonna wanna get is father. So when you drink your potion, you get a random shrine effect, which is just insanely strong. Um, and with the, the cash, you're gonna be able to get all three of these. Um, <clears throat> Starting off, guys, you're gonna get your first gateway node. This is gonna be your kill streak. This is very important. This just helps your kill streak timer and duration is reward, and then rewards are doubled. So when you're doing kill streaks, this is great. Early on, that's the best way to do to level up is get your still your kill streaks going. So that's gonna be one. <clears throat> now I do want to note before we go through these that when you get down to here, you can't go backwards. Okay, you have to have these initial nodes here to be able to grab these two. So for example, when we come down and we're going through these and say we get here and we go over and grab this one, I can't go backwards here. I have to go from here and go to this one to be able to get these two, okay? Now, one cool thing about the potion part down here is that you don't need both to unlock the potion, okay? You don't need two to unlock the potion. All you need is one. So when you come down here and you get these, like you just take pattern and then you can take father and you're all set. We start with one, we take gateway. The next one, like using these caches guys, the, the initial cache that you're gonna get, you're gonna get all these, like basically some of the strongest ones, the strongest nodes that you're gonna use through the whole season. So you're not gonna need some of these other ones like 25% missile damage. We're not gonna get something like that until we almost get everything else. You can see it's still one of the ones that I have left to get. <clears throat> Same thing against and increased damage against elites. Like a lot of these nodes that you're gonna get are just gonna be way later. We're gonna get the main ones right now. So guys, after you take your first one, we're gonna get anointed. Okay, this is the number two slot that you're gonna get. This is where items have no level requirement, which means that when you go in and you pop your cash instead of creating one level 70 and trying to get it you can just create a level 70 weapon and just start using it immediately so that way you can get more armor and it'll make the leveling process so much easier so that's number one number two you're going to grab mirror pools of reflection last for the entire season and are not removed by death that's why you see down here this yellow bar that we're going to have throughout the entire duration once you have these it's about 41 percent increased xp the entire season fantastic it's going to make leveling so easy <clears throat> so we got one two and three next is going to be exodus for the 25 percent movement speed you want to get around really really fast now there is another one there i did i actually ended up picking force first for 200 damage but the fact is that right at level one when you crack and you get anointed and you're using level 70 weapons after up, uh, upgrading the blacksmith the 200 damage is good but it's i mean it's going to be minuscule when you're leveling so fast so I, I did this initially for the ptr but you want the movement speed so we want one two three four down to exodus and then we do have to take the blood node to be able to get access down to the bottom this just gives us a shield when you're picking up health globes we just have to take it otherwise we probably wouldn't take this for a while so we got one two three four five next is going to be um nature 
The highest elemental skill damage bonus is increased by 10%. Okay, the other two nodes you don't really need is the damage against elites and then percent melee damage reduction. We don't want that. So we go down to nature. And then after that, this is where things get a little tricky. I would opt for bountiful because when you're doing the bounty caches, you get double, which is great. That season 26 theme that we had. Now you could do vigor if you really wanted to. Critical hits grant your resource back, which is awesome. But again, when you're such low level, you're not really going to be running out of resources, especially getting to 70. And all these builds guys throughout Diablo are so well optimized that we don't necessarily need this right in the beginning. So I would opt to take Bountiful over Vigor for sure. After Bountiful, we want to get down to Father first. Like these are going to be the three potions that we want. So after Bountiful, you want to go down and grab Omen. You gain immunity to crowd controlling effects. This is awesome to when moving around. This is fantastic. Now, this is where we have some flexibility and you can do these in any order from here. If you want to just go straight to Revelation down to um, Elegance or Pattern and then grab Father. Absolutely, you can do that in that order. You can grab any of these other ones, but make sure you get Father first. So after Omen, what I would probably do is go grab Revelation. You gain a passability, so you get another passive then go down and get either pattern or elegance depending on what you want to do i think right in the beginning elegance is good but i think pattern's fine when you're trying to get items from kadala so i would probably do pattern and then go down and grab father so after that i would skip back over here to malice for 15 percent damage and then go down and, and grab reaper Elite packs drop one additional progress orb. Guys, this thing is super powerful. As you know, getting an extra time progress orb, you're gonna be clearing not only just T16 rifts, but your GRs incredibly fast. Then you come down and grab Mother, which is awesome. I wouldn't I wouldn't get carrying uh, this early for pets to pick up DBs because it's gonna be really easy to get those later. So after that, I would come back and grab a uh, husk so your pets pick up salvage common magic and rare items okay this is so good this is going to make just a quality of life treatment for this game and just be able to get through things so much more faster now i will say though if there is items that you're trying to get during the leveling process to re-equip they're just going to get salvaged but that's okay i mean you're gonna you're gonna have a level 70 weapon and you're just gonna most likely just craft things anyway so getting husk is very strong but if you want to do the increased damage done to bosses you can but you're going to be so strong it's not going to make a difference so i would grab husk and then mortal when you drink your health potion enemies within 25 yards deal 25 percent less damage fantastic so again we got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen so those are going to be your initial 14 is what I would do to get those. And then after that, we're going to be getting the other two to get down to mortal. So that pretty much covers all of the strongest ones. The Now all the other ones are going to be extra. So like now you can come get double death breaths. You could get, um, you know, progress orbs are picked up automatically. You can get the reduced damage and then you can come back up here and kind of grab the extra damage buffs. Um, that you want but i think that's the most optimal order that you want to do when the start of season 26 or 28 happens and then after that you can pick and choose now if you want to change this now this is just my initial thoughts guys um you could definitely change the order of anything but i think the initial ones you definitely have to take like you have to go gateway anointed mirror exodus blood nature bountiful down to omen and then from here it's totally up to you me personally i would go from omen to revelation to father uh, to excuse me pattern and then father and then i would definitely go grab malice reaper and mother and then after that you can go whichever way you want but this is going to be the most optimal path i think to make you the most powerful character right in the beginning of season 28. so guys if you enjoyed today's video make sure to drop a like comment down below what you guys think about the altar of rights and what kind of path have you taken if you are playing the PTR? Let me know down in the comments below. Or if there's any other paths or some something I don't see, let me know down in the comments. And as always, stay gaming, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.